Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then hello and welcome, my name's Hope. It's great to have you here. Be sure to subscribe so you can see me more. <laughs> but finally, oh my god I can't believe it's actually happening. I've been talking about the video for weeks now. But finally I'm going to be doing a makeup collection video. I have actually decided to split this into two parts just because when I have filmed this previously I was just kind of rushing through products. I wasn't talking through them. I felt like you weren't seeing the products as well so th the first part which is what I'm feeling what you're going to be seeing today is um, all my eyeshadows glitters and um, I uh, single eyeshadows and like any pigments that I have and then part two will focus on um, like face products so like any you know, you know complexion products blushes bronzers highlights um, you know lip products just because I really want to talk you through my collection and actually show you everything that I have and I felt like before it would just be really long if I did talk you through and when I was in before I felt so rushed and just like pressured to have it at a certain time so I hope that's okay with you Um, I hope you enjoy this video and if you do want to see part two then make sure you're subscribed so that you can see it and I really hope you enjoyed today's video and yes I'm coming at you all natural just didn't feel like putting makeup on today so you just have to look at me like this. <laughs> so, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you do and subscribe so you can see part two and other videos from me. Okay, I'm going now. <laughs> my dressing table I have this set of four drawers um I found them on Amazon I literally just typed in some plastic drawers on uh, on there and these came up and there's four of these drawers they're quite actually deep and quite go quite far back so they're really handy they can hold quite a bit um and in this top drawer I have affordable and drugstore eyeshadow palettes which is the first drawer I'm going to be showing you today now this isn't uh 100 like perfectly organized it's just the way that works best for me and it's just how it all fits in here so without any further ado let's show you the first eyeshadow palette so on top here the first one that i've picked out is the rach leary goddess on the go palette in collaboration makeup revolution it's got a nice face quad here and eyeshadows this coconut latte is my favorite um eyeshadow and i love this get it popping highlight it's literally stunning i'll just show you the blush is really nice as well i can't use the bronzers because they're a bit too warm tone for me and i'm quite fair wow it's an awful swatch <laughs> let me just try again you can just see it's such a gorgeous shade then we have the eyn bright matte palette from beauty bay lovely formula really good quality and i'm pretty sure this is like under 10 pound so if you're looking for a rainbow palette then this is for sure one that you should definitely look at too especially if you're not looking for anything expensive then we have the Belle jordan in collaboration with makeup obsession palette this is their first collaboration they did the makeup uh, makeup obsession and this is a sister brand to revolution really nice warm tone palette We have Kami's second collaboration with Makeup Revolution here. Isn't this packaging stunning? Such gorgeous shade of packaging. And inside, this top row here, these shimmers are so stunning. This, you got this, is like a purple, blue, brown, um, what's it called? What do you call them? Uh, duochrome, but there's like three different shades that it turns into. So stunning. The mattes are really nice as well, but this top row is definitely my favourite. Then we have Tammy's first collaboration with Makeup Revolution. One of my favourite neutral palettes from the drugstore, or just in general to be honest. This shade here is so nice. I've lost the name sheet so I don't know what it's called. But it's really, I've used this palette like a lot and you can't even tell because the shades are so pigmented you just literally dab your brush in once and you're good to go. This bottom row here is really nice to just blend a colour on and go. This will work on so many different skin tones like the deepest cut deep, deep skin tones because you have really nice deep neutrals and deep pops of color which will look really nice on the skin but equally it'll work just as well on fair tones because you do have lighter shades in here or this lighter shade here to help make a blending shade imagination x makeup revolution eyeshadow palette this side here is my favorite side just because this shade you know is stunning Thank you. 
Mist- Misunderstood palette, which is a Disney collaboration with Colourpop. A gorgeous palette. And if you haven't tried Colourpop shadows, I really recommend it. Both the matte and shimmer formula is beautiful. Disney Designer palette in collaboration with Colourpop. A lovely neutral palette. Again, Colourpop formula in my eyes is almost faultless. Then this is Pink Gold by Kira B. And Kira B is a small indie brand on um, Instagram. It's run by like, it's run by, it's run by a lovely girl. And my palette is at its fair use, as you can tell. Really nice. I don't know if it's still available. I'm pretty sure it's limited edition. Um, but if you're just searching Kira B, you'll find her. This is the Makeup Revolution um, Birds of Paradise eyeshadow palette. I've only used this twice so far. But I'm thinking of doing a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a review on YouTube soon. Gorgeous shades. The only thing is there is a lot of fallout. Which isn't bad. Fallout doesn't tend to bother me. But the shadows are quite powdery as well. So just take a little bit of build up on the eye. Then this is the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Ice Palette. This is a dupe of Jeffree Star's Blue Blood Palette. And again, this this shade here, Iceberg, is stunning. And again, Makeup Revolution formulas are pretty good all around. Obviously, there are some hit, there are some misses as well as hits. This is I Heart Revolution Sprinkles palette. This is an all shimmer palette. I find half the shimmers in here are pretty good, and the other half are okay. If you don't have many colourful shimmers in your palette. Uh, in your collection sorry then this will be it's it's okay i do find the warm toned uh, shades are better than the cool tone shades this is a marvelous this is a marvelous matte reloaded palette from makeup revolution this was actually sent to me by uh beauty by chrissy she's a makeup page on instagram and she's so lovely i've used this a few times now this palette and it's actually pretty good quality if you're looking for a rainbow palette makeup revolution reloaded iconic division a dupe of the subculture palette from abh this green shimmer is so nice the makeup revolution reloaded neutrals 2 this is a dupe of the Modern Renaissance from ABH. Actually a really nice palette. I should definitely use this one more. Then we have the full Morphe X Jaclyn Hill um, Vault Collection. I'll just quickly show you these. So we have Armed and Gorgeous. Ring the Alarm. Bling Boss, and my personal favourite, Dark Magic. This is a limited edition from Makeup Revolution. It was from their Christmas calendar a couple of years ago. That gold shade is so stunning. An unopened and unused uh, redemption palette from Makeup Revolution. A limited edition um, palette from NYX. This is from the Elements collection. This is from a couple of Christmases ago, I'm pretty sure. And this is Earth. The shimmers in this one are actually pretty disappointing. The mattes are okay. But these shimmers, they look really pretty. But when you use them, they're just so dull. And Fire from the NYX um, Elements collection. This red is so pigmented. And that oil oil slick shade is really stunning. And so is this one. Pro Fusion Mixed Metals Palette. W7B Tip Palette. The W7 palettes tend to be dupes of like, especially these tin ones, tend to be dupes of the Urban Decay, oh, excuse you, <laughs> tend to be dupes of the Urban Decay ones. They tend to follow similar colour tones. Uh, W7 Colour Me Buff. W7 Blazing, this is a dupe of their Naked Heat Petite palette. I'm pretty sure this is a Primark palette, but I didn't buy it myself. Like it was a gift off a friend, so I'm not 100% sure. But it's a Disney palette. 
And that is draw one empty. I'm surrounded by eyeshadow palettes, so don't put these ones away and then move on to draw two. So we're on to draw number two now, and this has a more expensive or higher end eyeshadow palettes. And then at the back it's got some larger palettes which are more affordable ones, but don't fit in this drawer because this drawer is rammed. <laughs> So I do have a couple of palettes, palettes from Jeffree Star and I'm fully aware that there's a lot going on right now in terms of, you know, his past and what he's still currently been doing. Um, do know that I don't personally support Jeffree Star. Um, however, I've had this Androgyny palette in my collection for quite a while and I purely have it for sentimental reasons. It's one of the first um, higher end palettes that I bought myself and... Again, just because I have the palette doesn't mean I support him personally. And I do have a second palette from him, which was bought for me as a Mother's Day present back in March, but only arrived last week. So again, I'm keeping it because I, I'm i really happy to have it in my collection. It was quite an expensive um, present as well. So again... I do have them, but I'm not promoting them on Instagram. I'm not tagging the brand. I'm not even mentioning that I'm using them. Like, if someone asks me what I should have used, then I will happily tell them. But I'm not going out of my way to promote him. I'm simply keeping them for personal use. Just wanted to clear that up before I show you any of his palettes. So first up, we do have Jeffree Star and Dragony palette. The Zoeva Matte Spectrum Palette. Personally, actually not a fan of this eyeshadow palette. The mattes are really dull. They're not bright at all in colour. And I've only used it a couple of times. I'm actually pretty disappointed. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Actually a really nice colour story. Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics eyeshadow palette. This used to be what I used every single day, especially like these three shades here. Urban Decay X Kristen Leanne eyeshadow palette. This is the Kaleidoscope one. Luna Beauty from Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette. One of my favourite all time eyeshadow palettes, especially the shade Beats. Let me just swatch it for you because it's so stunning. Like you cannot tell me that's not stunning. <laughs> Urban Decay Naked Heat. I actually find that some of the mattes in here are too pigmented to the point where they actually end up sticking and not blending out very well. Um, so if you do use it, I, I would recommend using a more set base rather than a tacky base. Urban Decay Naked 3. Urban Decay Naked 2. Oh, that gold shade, I used to use it all the time. <laughs> Urban Decay Electric Palette. This is the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Daydream Palette, an all matte, everyday eyeshadow palette. And we have my baby, the Me, Myself and Mirror Mitchell palette. This is uh, Mirror Mitchell in collaboration with Beauty Bay. We have this gorgeous warm tone side and a more cool tone side. You can see this palette has had a lot of love. One of my mo most recent purchases is Tammy's Tropical Twilight, eye Twilight palette. I actually have a couple of videos on my channel using this. And I am so in love with this formula and the shimmers and the glitters. Honestly, one of my favourite palettes and I've only had it a short while. Juvia's Place, a Zulu palette. These two shimmers here, the green and blue. Honestly, phenomenal. Oh my god. <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> we have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum eyeshadow palette. This is one of my very first colourful eyeshadow palettes and I used to love it. I used to go to work with literally yellow and green in my eyes. And everyone would be like, oh my god, what are you wearing? <laughs> well, that was like 16 year old me. <laughs> Moon Dust from Urban Decay. Such an OG palette. This shade I used to use all the time. Um, if you ever had this palette or used this palette, then let me know. The Rach Leary Goddess, um, Ultimate Goddess palette, sorry. 
eyeshadows and a face palette. This is Stone's eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Makeup Revolution. This is the Instinct palette. It's an all matte um, rainbow palette. And it's nice because it actually goes down the spectrum. So you've got your lightest colours at the top and it goes down to your deepest colours. We have Morphe 35M. I both love and hate this palette. It's, it is a nice palette and the colour story is really nice. However, I'm not an awful fan of the um, eyeshadow formula in this one. I'm not sure why, it just seems different to the other ones. The Morphe 35O, that is even the old packaging. What a throwback is this one. I used to mainly use this corner, like these oranges and that shimmer was pretty much all I used to use. I wasn't a fan of these matte shades. And that is draw two. Done. <laughs> so we're going to move on to draw three once I put all these eyeshadow eyeshadows back. So draw three is a little bit of a shambles. I've got some face stuff here, which I won't be showing you in this one. And then I just kind of have eyelashes. I have some like gems and that. And underneath all these eyelashes, I have lip products. So let me just show, talk you through some of the eyelashes I have. Obviously, I've got loads from Dorella Cosmetics. I am lucky to be on Dorella Cosmetics um, like little PR list, which I'm so grateful for. So they frequently do send me some um, eyelashes, and they are literally amazing. Some of my favourite styles are Lily and Famous. Um, and then I recently bought this new eye glue and these eyelashes from um, Daxi Beauty on Instagram. My friend Celine from Celine um, Joy Makeup on Instagram recommended them to me and I'm actually really excited to try these plus the packaging is so cute so yeah we have loads of Dorella lashes here I'm really bad at keeping my eyelashes neat so I do apologize but you can tell that they're well loved that's for sure and then these are definitely the more dramatic styles if that's what you're into and I got some from Kiss these this is quite old I should probably throw these I've used them too many times Another pair from Dorella. These are just some like um, wispies from. I found my bro my um, boyfriend found these on Amazon for me. They're just some wispies. I'm not sure what the brand name is. Alice Demi Wispies. They're kind of like the Ardell Demi Wispies. This pair is from House of Sparkles. It doesn't have the name attached to them, but they were really nice. As you can see, I've used them so many times. My eyelashes definitely need to clean. That's for sure. So in here I actually do have some glitters and pigments which I'll show you. First of all I'll start off with these because I'm sure I'll probably get some questions about them. And these are um, nail artist gems. I found them on Instagram, oh, not on Instagram, I found them on Amazon, sorry. And you've got some silver ones, you've got some funky shapes, like you've got some fruit, you've got flowers, you've got smiley faces, you've got colourful gems, some more silver gems in different shapes, and lots of pink ones. If you literally just type in um, like gems on Amazon or eBay, you can find loads of these. Like for all of these, I'm pretty sure it was like $4.99 or $6.99. I just picked these for the variety because I thought these fun ones would be pretty cool for a look as well then we've got some glitters we've got Helene glitters you've got some NYX singles we've got Dorella Cosmetics pigments which also I was I was gifted I've got an orange we've got a yellow purple and green uh, not green sorry um it's bright pink fuchsia color which again I was all gifted so I'm really grateful for that and then a pastel rose neon pigment in alien it's a gorgeous green to be fair and a house of sparkles glitter so yeah and then these are all lip products which i'll probably show in the next one and then i also have a couple of palettes which don't fit in my drawers so we have jeffree star cosmetics bloodlust and then we have this huge palette which i probably won't even be able to fit all on camera at once from makeup revolution the color spectrum one Oh my god, I can't even show you. <laughs> but the quality in here is actually really nice. You see, if I switch it to that side, you can see there's actually quite a lot of diverse shades in here. Oh my god, how can I show you? <laughs> All for showing you. But I'm actually quite impressed at the formula in here. They're actually really good. I've not actually found any shades that I'm not impressed with or don't like. And the shimmers in here are also really pretty. I also have this case, which is full of single eyeshadows and glitters. Um, the only reason why there's some singles and um, pigments in the other drawer down there is because I've been too lazy and not put them back in here. But basically, when I, especially when I first started out with makeup, I used to collect singles because I thought they were really nice, especially from NYX. You see, I've actually hit pan on a couple of these, so I used to use them every single day. And we even got one here from Colourpop, which is so pretty. Oh, two here from Colourpop, sorry. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a brief overview of these. I'll just show you, I'll do a little monta montage. I'll just do a little overview and you can see what I've got in here. So 
that is part one done. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see part two, then make sure you're subscribed so you can see it. And if you want to know when part two is going to go live, then make sure that you're subscribed to my Instagram at Blame of Hope because I put all details over there first. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.